product photography. Today, specifically talking about product photography for your e-commerce website. Hey everybody, welcome back. Frank Blanchard, AIFD here. And today I am switching gears a little bit, still on the topic of website and specifically e-commerce website information and knowledge that I'm sharing with you, especially if you are an online florist or a floral artist and you are working and managing your website yourself. So I really wanted to make a point of sharing some easy, photography tips for you that can really help and enable you to get more of your own images on your website. Now, if you've been in the floral industry for any length of time, you know there are a lot of different selection guides out there that enable you to use their photography for specific items on your website. That can be a good way to get started. Ultimately though, you do really need to focus on setting yourself apart from the competition out there. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to make a point of having the majority of the images on your e-commerce florist website be your own images and nothing that anybody would see in a selection guide anywhere else. So that can really help set you apart. The challenge can be how do you get those pictures and how do you create those pictures in such a way that they actually work on an e-commerce website? So today I wanted to share with you uh, some really easy key tips that can help making and generating your own photo images easier. And uh, I'm also going to be sharing with you some images that I've taken of my own work and also some work of some other people that asked me to take pictures of their work and uh, wanted to share that one of the easiest tips and I, I hear this a lot from a lot of different florists is oh, I just can't get good pictures because I don't have a good camera and I don't have good lighting and I don't have a good spot to take a picture of anything. No excuses. These days it is so easy and I <laughs> first I have to point out to you uh, right now, I am filming this video. In fact, I film all of my videos with my iPhone. And really, these days, just about any smartphone that you've got has a phenomenal camera with it. And it really enables you to be able to take pictures anywhere you happen to be when you have your phone with you. You don't necessarily have to have a separate actual camera to take pictures of things and to take good pictures of things that you can actually utilize on your website. So if you've got your phone, I encourage you to just get it out and start snapping pictures of things and experimenting because the more you do it, the easier it becomes and a lot of these tips end up becoming very just automatic response and you hardly even think about them when you're creating your own imagery for your e-commerce website. So don't be afraid to use your phone and also you don't necessarily have to have any special lighting when you do 
your photography. You might need to think about the time of day that you're taking the picture and obviously where you're taking the picture. You definitely don't want to be in direct sunlight. Uh, when I can, I really like taking pictures of things, specifically flowers and flower arrangements like you would be doing for your e-commerce website. If I can, I like taking those pictures outside. Being able to utilize natural light is the easiest and fastest way to get good, clear color saturation that you don't have to mess with editing to get it to look good. It just automatically looks good and the colors are very clear and the colors are nice and saturated so it ends up looking like a really professional photography shot even though you just did it with your phone <laughs> so think about your lighting you might want to consider creating a spot outside in an area that you know doesn't really get any direct sunlight and i know i've used in the past spots specifically situated on the north side of a building that is out of direct sunlight and maybe even in some sort of a covered area so that depending on where you're located even if you're up north it could be snowing outside or raining outside and you actually still have a spot where you can go outside and still be able to take a decent picture so all of that's possible it just takes a little bit of time to actually think about what are you taking a picture of how are you going to use that picture because you might want to use the image for some other reason other than your website. You might want to use it in some print marketing material, something like that. So this one picture I'm going to share with you now is one that I did specifically offset what I was taking an image of to one side thinking ahead so that if I did want to use it in marketing materials, on the one side of the arrangement, there is actually clear open space that I could put some text content in there with the image. So you have to think about little things like that prior to actually snapping the picture. Now, the next tip, aside from lighting, is make sure, especially, and this is a tip for your phone. I really like taking pictures with my phone because it just fits in my pocket and it's not as cumbersome as some cameras. So I've got it with me wherever I go. So one of the tips that I really make a point of doing when I'm taking pictures that I know I want to use on a website is make sure before you actually snap the picture to really look at the image in your screen of your phone to see what you see in the image and ask yourself some questions. Can I clearly see the defined individual flowers that I'm taking a picture of? Can I see the individual petals? You want to make sure that that image fits within your screen and you want to shoot for having about the same amount of space evenly all the way around the image. You don't want any part of the image to actually hit any of the outside edges of your frame. Because on your website, once you get that image on there, you want the entire 
thing that you are taking a picture of to actually fall dead center within that shopping cart layout. So that anybody who's looking at that image and possibly wanting to buy something like that, that they can clearly see the entire thing and no one part of it is cut off because it fell outside the frame of your camera on your phone. So keep that into consideration. So you really want to think natural light and make sure that what you're taking a picture of falls dead center in the middle of your image. Now, if you want to use your image for something else and not necessarily on your website, you can have your image actually hit the edges of your frame because you're gonna use it for something else. So you can do close-up shots uh, and do all sorts of things with those. But if you can get in the habit of kind of these three things to keep in mind every time you're taking a picture that you might wanna use for an e-commerce website. One is natural light like I'm getting here in this picture from direct from the window or take the picture outside so you can utilize natural light. Also, when it comes to lighting, you might wanna think about intentionally trying to take those pictures either early in the morning or later in the day. Like some photographers, you might hear them talk about the golden hour. And that's all about lighting and natural lighting and utilizing that natural light for your photography. So it's lighting, making sure that what you're taking a picture of falls dead center in the middle of your frame. And now we're talking about when you're taking a picture with your phone, the camera on your phone. And lastly is really think about what you're going to use that image for and what the background is. You definitely want to make sure that it's clear and it doesn't necessarily have to be anything special. Uh, and it can be in the moment and you can end up getting really good results just from where you happen to be and where the arrangement happens to be. You just have to take a little bit of time before you actually snap the picture to really look in the screen and ask yourself, what am I seeing? Can I see the entire item clearly? Is the background clutter free and you can see the image really crisp? What's the lighting like? and you might need to take some adjustments. Sometimes if you're taking a picture outside, it just means you need to actually move your body so that your body actually blocks the light or possibly direct sunlight that happens to be shining on what you're trying to take a picture of. So again, it's not about equipment. It's just about taking time to really look at what you're trying to take an image of and what can you do really easily in the moment to get a better picture. And one of the easiest ways to get better at this is to just start taking lots of pictures of your work. And the more you do, the easier it will get and it will all just start automatically becoming faster and easier. So especially if you are delivering flowers for an event like a wedding, we all know how hard it is to get good pictures of our floral work at a wedding. This way it will enable you to get your own images faster. So within this video, I'm sharing a few pictures of my own work and I'm also ending this video with pictures of my own work just to inspire you 
as to the kinds of images you can get and the clarity of color and the saturation of color. So you really get a good image that is very immersive to the viewer. So it really captures the viewer and draws them in. So that then with all of your text content, you can give them that sales pitch and tell them a story about whatever the image is. So hopefully that information is helpful for you and inspires you to get out there and take more pictures of your own work with your own handy dandy little smartphone because you can't ignore the camera on that smartphone these days they are so good you oftentimes don't even need a separate secondary camera so no excuses saying oh i don't have a camera to take any pictures of just get your phone out and start snapping pictures of your own work because if you are an artist of any type whether you're a florist, I've been talking flowers today, but it could be anything. The general rules apply for anybody. So it's lighting, think of basic composition, really look at what is in your screen before you snap that picture. It'll all make a huge difference in the outcome and end result of the image that you get so that you can use it on the web. Hopefully you find those tips helpful today and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get more information like this. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, by all means hit that bell icon and that way you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. And pretty much consistently, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my days to upload so now I'm going to leave you with some more images to look at to inspire your own image product photography for your online florist website. Until next time, be safe everybody and we'll see you soon. Get out there and be creative. Bye-bye.